Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to City Life. It is the morning of day seven and I've got a few skill points to spend this morning. Let's put a point into intellect. Let's go into Grease Monkey, unlock that mini bike and maybe we'll get that thing crafted later and let's put a point into strength. Okay, we got to get some wood this morning. I have a little bit, but uh, not nearly as much as I would like. Watch out, big boy. Oh, shit. Are you dead, big boy? He is dead. The tree killed him? I have never seen that before, ever. I didn't think falling trees could do damage to any entity. That's crazy. Hey, need a car? Yes, I do need a car. We need to take some cars apart this morning if we're going to get that mini bike crafted. There's a full one right there. Let's start with this one. Maybe we'll get lucky. Level 4 wrench. I'll scrap that pipe, take the buckshot, feathers, and the bone. Well, no engine there or battery, but we have a battery in inventory already. That's why we just really need an engine this morning. Already read that spear book. Grab a few more books over here. Let's see what we got. We already read you. Hey, haven't read you. Legwear, okay. And we already read you. Uh, so what do you think? Should we raid this uh, car place? There are at least two full cars in there. And uh, I've never raided this place before. Uh, it is all connected, though. It is connected to these other two buildings. That's going to be a pretty big POI. You know, I was hoping to rip through the Dishong Tower today and try and clear the entire building. But maybe this is a smarter move. Because I would like to get the mini bike crafted tonight. This way we can venture out a little bit further. Try and find the trader. And uh, raiding this place will hopefully get us an engine, unless we get one right here. And it will also get us maybe some better weapons, some more ammo, which we can always use to clear the tower. Well, no luck there. Hey, got a battery. Level 6 battery, still no engine. All right, then, fuck it. Let's go drop these parts off at home, and then we'll go do that need a car POI. I mean, the more we level up, the more ammo we can find, the better weapons we can find, the less dangerous it's going to be to clear this entire tower, because it does start to get pretty dangerous the further you go up. I uh, put some storage in last night over here, so we're a little more organized. Here are all the POIs we're connected to. We got the Hearts Rent-A-Car, Crack-A-Book, and Zip Coffee. Now, there's no way to get in in the front here. I think the entrance is in the back of Zip Coffee. Yep. All right. Let's do it. Pipes? I'll scrap them. Let's close this door behind us. Can we search any of this stuff? No. No. Uh, Alright then. Well, kitchen area and some zombies. Dead. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at this. Um, all right, so we're in the back of Zip Coffee now. Rotten flesh. Give me some coal. Coal, nice. Got to get as much coal as we can because uh, there ain't none in the desert. None that I've ever seen anyway. So that that's going to be a little bit of a problem in terms of uh, 
crafting ammo, you know, or gunpowder. That's what I mean. That's why we need to find this traitor. Little miso soup. We are actually running pretty low on food, not gonna lie. And that's another good reason to have the mini bike. It's a lot easier to hunt and kill animals when you got wheels, you know? Oh, they're gonna start dropping down on my head, aren't they? Oh, shit, yeah, here they come. Those motherfuckers, they're, they're so impatient. They won't take the stairs. they just rather jump. There we go. Of course, using the bat when we can is best. Uh, you may have noticed I do have the AK with me today. That's because my original plan was to uh, try and clear out the Dishong Tower. And I figured, fuck it, might as well bring it with me, even though we're doing this POI. I'm going to try not to use it, but if we need it, it's there. Nothing there. Eh, I just like hearing the glass breaking, if I'm being honest. Who doesn't like the sound of glass breaking? I might as well grab this yucca, right? I just said we needed food. Might as well eat this shit. Got a couple of bathrooms back here, and a couple of mechanics also. The fucking blue jumpsuit brothers. Anything up here? Doesn't look like it. That door is locked. There must be a way to go through this bathroom then. Oh, hey, Big Mama. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were in there. My bad. That's what that smell was. See ya. Oh, poor Big Mama. She was just trying to take a shit. Look at her now. Uh, where the hell do we go? Oh, out the window. All right. Well, let's check the toilets first. Oh, I hate to look at this one. Murky water, okay. I'll take it. Guess we're going up. Bird! Oh, come on now. Look, it's just a bat. It's not like I have a shotgun. Dumbass. This must be the way to go. And into this, uh, fucked up apartment. It's gotta be above the crack book building now. Hey, bottle of acid. Take that. We already have one wheel for the mini bike, so we just need to craft one more. But we're also gonna need to craft three wheels for the gyrocopter when we get around to crafting that thing. That door is locked, but it's just a bathroom, so let's pop it open. Sometimes the bathrooms are just locked, and there's nothing. Oh, look at that. Weapons bag. Back up. Oh, sweet. Level one pistol. Now we can make use of all that 9mm we have. That's, that's one of the reasons why coming here versus trying to clear out the tower today was uh, the better move. Because now we can go up the tower with the pistol and the AK instead of the shotgun and the AK and we'll be much better off. Um, I don't think there's anything we can put this mod into. We can't put it in the bone knife because you can't put two blade mods. So we'll just have to hold on to that for now. Alrighty. That's great. Oh my god, the pistol was an awesome find. I know it's only a level one, but like I said, we didn't have anything that fired 9mm and now we have two fucking pistols. I'll scrap this one for the pistol parts. No reason to hold on to two level one pistols. That is hilarious that we found two of them in the same apartment, nonetheless. Nothing there. Okay, uh, I don't know how many we're dealing with here. Open blast shut. Looks like just two. Are we clear? Seems that way. And this seems like the way to go. So we'll close that door for now. Salute this apartment. Bone. Empty can. Bone and an empty can and some nails. How many bones do we have? Uh, oh, ten? Alright, I'll take it then. That's... 
We got those bones from uh, harvesting that bird. Cooking grill. We don't need that. I'm not going to grill my meat. I'm going to boil it. Ooh, what do we got here? Coyotes. Nice. 10% more damage against coyotes. That's a great book to find when you're living in the desert. And this is the basic sensors schematic. All right. We may need to put some storage down. So we're getting a little loaded up here. Lead and cloth. And uh, which way are we going? Up or down? Well, thick's coming from down, so probably down. Yeah, that, that looks like the way to go. Okay. Um, I want to see what was up the stairs, though, first. A ladder. And some trash and a locked door. Okay. Uh, oh, and this, this ladder's broken, so we can't go up that way anyway. All right. Just wanted to make sure we didn't miss anything. You know what we should probably do is pop this door open and put the storage down in front of this, uh, this store here. All right, let's get in the Cracker Book store now so we can get all the paper that's going to be in these bookshelves. Up, oh, hold on. Hey, this is something that's not paper. A cooling mesh mod schematic. That's actually a pretty good mod out here in the desert. What do you need to craft one of those things? Plastic parts, glue, oil, mechanical parts, and a sewing kit. I'm pretty sure I have all that stuff. We might have to craft one of those. Yucca seed schematic. A little bit of cash, a little bit of coin. Oh, got a zombie right here. Boiled corn schematic. Which we already know because we uh, put a point into Master Chef. Murky water. I love the uh, magazines in the bathroom. That's a nice touch. Art of Mining book. Um, this is where you can turn uh, your basic ore into stacks. So it takes up less inventory space. Let's pop this crate open. Cotton seed recipe and a leather armor schematic. Bathroom looks clear. I hope we're going to be able to jump back up here from this toilet in case we have to. Paper. Oh, shit. Right in the hand. Oh, he's up, and he's pissed. Now he's dead. Here comes some more. All right, uh, I'm sure we can get back up there. The question is, will the zombies be able to? Whoops. Uh, can you get up there, lady? No? Good. Well, we are officially in the car rental place. Watch there only be two cars here, and neither of them give us an engine. You know what? It doesn't matter at this point. We found a pistol. I don't care. You know, if we don't find an engine here, then I'll just scour the city until we find one. Yeah, eat shit, Skinny Pete. You too, Skinny Pete. You too. Yellow shirt guy. We need a name for this fucker. Oh, I'm out of stamina. How about Billy? You see, he looks like a Billy. Oh, there goes his head. He must be the only zombie right now that has that head dismemberment thing. Because I've shot in his head off plenty of times, but it's never happened yet with any other zombie. Oh, shit. Sounds like we just woke up everyone. 
Or not. Huh. Maybe that was coming from outside. Look at this, we got fucking Cubicle Kingdom over here. Two down. Oh, damn. Close that door, holy shit. We might need the AK for this. Oh yeah. Quite a few in there. Well, if we can take care of them a little at a time with a bat, that's what we'll do. I doubt that's gonna work though, because they're about to break that door open. Here we go. Oh, I forgot I had the silencer on this thing. Oh, took out the blob. There's a spider monkey now. Up here now. The other two zombies were having a hard time getting up here. Let's see. Yeah, even that spider monkey wasn't jumping up here. That toilet uh, really fucks him up. Oh, yeah, buddy. Listen, I've been there before. His vending machine works. Nothing I'm interested in. Not that I have any coin, even if there was. Uh, is this the way to go? Seems like it. Murky water. Yeah, that flashlight is pointing that way. Not bad. I'll take the vitamin now. Prevent any kind of infection, even though we're doing pretty good today. Oh, there's a crate. Oh, wait, this is, uh... Yeah, this is where the main stash is. All right, so... This is the way to go. What was up the... What was up those stairs, then? Let me pop this crate open, then we'll backtrack a bit and see what, uh... What we missed. Water. You can purify water now. And some more frames. Yeah, that's the main loot, so... What was up through here? Just some more offices? Probably. Well, we might as well check it out. Ah, oh, meeting room with the dead body just laying on the table. Oh. And two douchebags in suits trying to get the drop on you. That's pretty much every meeting I've ever been in. Here we are, two cars. I knew it. But, got a big ass pile of loot, and we found a pistol, so I ain't even mad. How could you be mad? Oh shit. Is that a mine? I damn near stepped on it. Ah, whatever. Let's just avoid it, in case it is one. Engine, there it is. Awesome. Man, this really worked out today. What a great decision I made to come here instead of doing the tower today. Because now we can uh, we can still go clear one extra floor of the tower. That's what we'll do. We'll head home. We'll put a bunch of shit into storage. We'll clear another floor of the tower. But now we have a pistol and we have an engine so we can craft a mini bike tonight. And then, like I said at the beginning of the episode, tomorrow we can really go explore the city and see if we can find the traitor. Ooh, look at this. The auger schematic. That's good. AK schematic and a bunch of other good stuff. Let's uh, scrap these chairs. Take that. Uh, I want those things, too. And definitely all that money. Here you go. Two pieces of cloth for $437. Seems like a good trade. This is where we left off, the yoga studio. This is the floor with the pool and all that. We cleared that in the last episode, so let's get this floor cleared. And that'll be a, a good day. That door's unlocked. That looks kind of clear. 
Ammunition crate. Isn't it weird how these blocks look like they took a lot of damage, but they didn't? That makes me think that this floor gives out. Oh, look at what we have here. This is the room with the trap. Yeah, they try to entice you with this ammunition crate here. But why would this floor give out? Oh, maybe it doesn't. Oh, maybe it does. Oh, shit, I was hitting the door. All right, whatever. Um, well, let's repair this door. <laughs> because it sure looks like a lot of zombies are going to fall from that ceiling. We should probably put a hatch in also. There we go. Let's upgrade it. Nope, no iron. Hey, cash register. This should give us enough iron to upgrade that hatch. Hopefully. Oh, yeah, definitely. There we go. All right. Let's set this shit off. Ah, fuck it. There we go. Found a skinny beat. Oh, shit. Oh, the floor did give out. Son of a bitch. So that's the trap. They they drop you down into the yoga room with all these zombies. I mean, it's still hard to tell how many zombies are up there. There's definitely at least one more. Here we go. Two. Three. Oh, shit. They're falling down, which means they're going to come up those stairs. Uh, this is the only one left in this room. So, oh, he's dead. All right. See ya, motherfucker. Now, um, let's just hide behind this hatch now. How the turns have tabled. Take this yucca. We don't have much food, but I'm pretty sure this is a restaurant up here, so hopefully we can find some food. Uh-oh. Is that next door? There were two bathrooms. Back up, lady. Well, there's definitely another one, at least. Beating on a door, which leads me to believe that it is next door in the bathroom. Yep. Boom! See ya! Um, I'm gonna check the toilets just because murky water. We get that cooked up tonight. Uh, I'm gonna skip most of the shit. Ooh, I will take the yucca. Some more yucca in here. At least we'll have some food. Uh, just trying to see if I can get a look up there. Not really. Oh, here we go. Oh, we got more. Fucking suits and strippers. That should be the name of this place. Oh, uh, let's get back behind this hatch. Why not? We got it in place. Probably not necessary. It's not like any of them were feral, but I don't feel like using ammo and I was starting to lose stamina. Dead. 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 And fucking dead. Hey, better to be safe than sorry, right? All right, let's get back to suits and strippers. I want to get in the kitchen. See if we can get some food. Let's grab these chairs for the wood. Grab this aloe and yucca. A lot of leather to be had up here. Think this is a false wall behind the stage? Nope. It seems like there's room back there, but... Uh, I mean, as far as I can tell, there's nothing. That's probably the kitchen right there. Is this a false wall? No. Nope. Alright then. Let's get through the kitchen here. See what we can find. Now, I was just looking to clear this floor, but... We gotta search the kitchen, because we need food. Come on. Wake up. Dead. Sand. Sand. Can't eat sand. There we go. A little bit of food. 
Rotten flesh. Rotten flesh. Charred meat. And rotten flesh. I'll take the charred meat. Eh, hey, yucca juice. There you go. What we got here? Apples. Rotten flesh. Uh, construction worker. Back up. Dead. Potato seed. Hey, there's some food. We'll eat that now. All right. Ah, here we go. Oh, shit. He's feral. Oh, my God. There we go. What the fuck? Oh, it's the tree? Son of a bitch. That's the problem with planting trees so close to the tower. Shit, now I can't see anything. Close that door. Now we got a little pantry here with some food. There we go. And some awesome sauce. How you like that? Floor's out right here. That is the gyme below us with all the gyme equipment. We can take it apart for parts if we need to. And another restaurant, which is uh, much more fancy than the one we were just in. Got a wine cellar. Yep, wines. That's nice. Look at this place. Got a bunch of chairs we can pick up for the wood, and I don't see any zombies. Here we go. Come on, ladies, get up on that bar. Oh, there go your legs. Oh, try dancing now. Oh, shit, I'm stuck. Damn it. We're doing so good today. In terms of taking damage, we're still doing good. We're fine. Come on, buddy. Dead. And that's all, folks. Well, for this floor, anyway. Grab all these chairs for the wood, and that is the way up to the next floor, which we'll do in the next episode. All right, how much forged iron can we make? 79, let's go 60. That'll be more than enough. We'll get a little bit of iron in there. And uh, we should be good. Got to make a wheel, and then we can make the chassis and the front end. And get that mini bike put together. And the mini bike will be fine. I don't think we'll end up making the motorcycle or the Jeep. Well, the mini bike is more than enough to get us around the city. And then the next vehicle we'll make after that, of course, will be the gyrocopter. And once we do that, we can fly off into the sunset. And that'll be it for city life. But this is it for this episode. So that's what I'm going to do tonight. Go through our inventory, get a mini bike crafted, and we'll pick things up here on the morning of day eight. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you're looking forward to seeing the next one. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more City Life and I will catch you guys in the next episode.